Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> No. You can't get the tattoo because one day you like you might really want it, you know? No, I'm not no, and I'm I'm not necessarily straight edged. I'm just I don't consider myself that. You're just not doing anything at the moment. I'm just not doing anything at the moment. Um, well, alcohol, I don't think I'm ever gonna drink again in my life, ever. I uh Um It's my first energy drink in about a week and a half. Really? Yeah. I haven't drank coffee though, black coffee. Is that that's so a week and a half? Is that a milestone for you? Uh, probably for a while, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good, dude. Because even like when I would run out of my Celsius, I'd still buy a monster. Mm. I'd buy a monster till I got Celsius again, you know. So, um, had a long fucking night last night, and I had an early morning this morning, and then, um, my sister's been using the computer for like hours all week, so I haven't had time to edit. Mm -hmm. So I edited everything today, and I was like falling asleep at the end there, like the last fifteen minutes. Yeah, so I needed that shit. Hey man, it's I needed it. It's better that you're nodding off in front of the computer than you know behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I had to watch the baby. I did take my last vacation day though, which sucked. That did suck. Hey, you know you got to risk it for the biscuit sometimes. I know. And you know I'm gonna be risking it for the biscuit um, today, starting tomorrow actually, because I just got a text, probably about two hours ago or so, uh -huh. that starting tomorrow we start at 4 a.m. Uh -huh. And we will be getting off at 4 p.m. 12s. 12s. At uh, SoFi? For, yeah. The Clippers place? Are you doing Clippers? No, no, no. We're not doing Clippers. So the, the area we're doing, it's called the Cosm Hollywood Park. It's kind of like a, like an interactive theater. Park? It's a huge, crazy theater. Okay. It seems, it seems like it's kind of like an entertainment center mm -hmm. for the people that are kind of um, straying away from the stadiums because you got the Inuit Dome, the Clippers Stadium that's okay. that's being built, uh -huh. right? It, that's literally right around the corner. Wait, so from, what's happening in Staples Center? Staples Center is going to be Lakers Stadium. That's it. That's for the Lakers. Oh, so they shared it, right? They did share it before, but the Inuit Dome that's going to be strictly for the Clippers now, and then so that's literally right right around the corner from they the don't job even site have that any I'm fans. at. Why would they make a new stadium? I know exactly. Why? <laughs> but they it's for Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. That's who it's realistically for. They've been selling, so selling the team. <laughs> but that area where I'm working at, it's literally in the center in between SoFi Stadium and the soon to be Inuit Dome. Okay. So it's kind of like a center for, for the people pe to walk through. For the people that stray away from those places because they have a bunch of like um, a bunch of food places. It, it seems like it's going to be super sick. So it seems like they just want everyone to just kind of stay in that area, and that's like an area of revenue Absolutely. everywhere. Yeah. Like, after the game, everyone's going here. Yeah, Everyone's exactly. going to go get a fucking beer or a doghouse or something. Exactly. They got, there, there's definitely a doghouse there. I don't know if there, there's, there's definitely going to be something more bougie than doghouse there, bougie. I think. Bougie. Oh, God. You know what, dude? I haven't had, When's the last time you had a hot dog? <sighs> uh, it's been been a while. A salt cheech. It's been been quite a while. Been a hot-ass minute. For uh, me, too. Yeah, it's been a while. I, I honestly can't. I can't remember the last time I had a hot dog. I want to say honestly, I want to say it might have been Doghouse when we went that like, long ago, like over a year ago. Yeah, you remember when we went? Yeah. So I think I got a burger that day though, but I uh, even like when I was on like this fucking binge of Wiener Schnitzel, like like a year ago, like in the summer. I was going to Wiener Schnitzel like, all the time. Wiener Schnitzel, yeah, huh? dude. They, their burgers are so good. I don't know what it is about it. Wiener Schnitzel, yeah, dude, it's so good. I would never get a fucking hot dog, never. Just a fucking double cheeseburger. That's all I'd get from Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah, try it. Honestly, like if you're ever craving like a fast food burger, that's that's the one. You know what, dude? And it's kind of because you wouldn't expect Wiener Schnitzel to be packing heat in the fucking burger department. Fire. But also Del Taco, you wouldn't expect them to be packing heat in the burger department. I was trying to tell my girl that same thing, and their fries are insane. Del Taco? Yeah. Those double Dells they have? Oh my god. Is that what they're god. called? Double Dells, yeah. Oh, they're, yeah. They're so good. They're mini, you know. But it seems like they got that special sauce on them. See, 
so the reason I found out about that is because like we used to get coupons in the mail all the time, and Del Taco was there, and I was like, you know what, dude, I'm trying this two for five burger. I got it, and I was like, yo, this burger is smacking. I found out about it through my girl's mom. Actually, she was obsessed with them. She loves them, and then one day she actually um, she got me some, uh-huh. and I loved them too. But I'm not the biggest like. Del Taco, Taco Bell, guy. Del Taco guy. You know what I'm saying? Because typically Mexicans okay. don't go to those places. Those places. Uh, are, that's cap. You know what I'm saying? That's cap. You mean like a, a real like Mexican person? Yeah, a or real like, Mexican person. Or like people our age that are Mexican. No, a real, real Mexican yeah, that's person. What I mean. Like for example, my parents. It's like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck is that? Why the fuck would you go there, Jose? That's disgusting. Why would you go there, Jose? E- even okay, so even my parents are ashamed of King Taco. Really? Yes. Well, I've never even been there. Yeah, and. Um, you know, I kind of shared the same sentiment with them. You know, I could be a little biased, you know, because, you know, I'm feeding off their opinion, right? But it just, uh, it's that same thing that goes with uh, my dad being like a big restaurant guy back in the mm-hmm, days. Mm-hmm. So he kind of, he's real, real anal about how he wants his tacos made. So where the fuck do you guys go to eat, man? Home? <laughs> he loves, uh, there was this one spot, Amapola. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's gone now. Exactly. <laughs> But you love those there. Bastards. And so if it's not that, I'm guessing the next best thing would be probably, you know, maybe those tacos in Pomona or maybe something like uh, like t- the, the taco or something. The, the, on the street, the taco, yeah. the taco vendor. And, and even that, I don't even know how, how he would rate it. You know what I'm saying? So what does he fucking eat? See, he's very picky, dude. He's very, very picky. Your, he's mom probably, knows, your mom just knows how to throw it down, baby. He's probably the pickiest eater I've ever met in my life. But my mom makes everything specifically for to how he likes it. You know what I mean? So it's like... And it's always been like that our whole lives. See, he's very picky, then. He is very picky. So that means you have your dad's... Yeah, but see, but you try shit, though. Me? I don't give a fuck. I will, I will try anything new, and he will not. Like, would he like those nachos at, at Jaritos? He won't try them. He will not eat them. He won't. Why not? He just won't. That cheese is not white enough or well, something? Well, first of all, he doesn't <laughs> like cheese that much. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough. Right? Fair enough. And, um, you know, it, the meat has got to have the right color. The The salsa has got to be the right color for that specific type of food. Okay, you know so what I'm saying? you guys go out to eat uh, for occasions or very rarely. What, where are you guys going? Well, there's this one Mexican restaurant that my parents have been going to for... Ever. Decades. Uh-huh. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is the go-to because it's it's tr- it's tried and true. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They're not straying away from it because they know it's a safe bet. It's like me and Jake, how we like Casa Jimenez. Like, yes. We're just like, uh, we don't know what to eat, just go there. Exactly, exactly. But if I were to take my parents to Casa Jimenez, I'm telling you right they, now... They would throw up. Your dad would... Th- he'd fall on his knees... And just start throwing up. I think he'd kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> he would quite literally kill himself right there in the restaurant. Uh, we're not going to out this place because this is Jose's fucking place. No one's fucking going there. You know? We're, we're fucking gatekeepers today. I really don't care. It's called Casa Sanchez, you know? It's, Where's uh, that at? It's off the 60 in Mountain. Okay, I'm definitely trying that it's place. Li- it's right across the street from the In-N-Out. Oh, that place? Uh-huh. It's Dude, by the By the, by the Tommies. Pain. By the Tommies. I'm not sure if it's. I'm not. I don't. Well, I don't quite recall if there's okay, Tommy's well, the, around there or not. The Tommy's is literally right next to the exit. Like there's like a wall. It's right on the other side of the wall of the exit. But this place is literally right next to a Vista Paint. So shout out those guys. We've been going there for years, and uh, they've got an amazing deep fried ice cream. Oh, what? Amazing deep fried ice cream. Yeah, it is so good, dude. It's so good. I never had that. Because I had a I had a deep fried peanut butter and jelly at the at the fair, and that thing was ass. It was ass. Tell you what though, yesterday I was at like 600 calories, right? And I was starving, bro. And it was like about to be seven o'clock. I was like, hey, I can't eat past seven. Got two pieces of white bread, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and I have like this mm. oob spread from Trader Joe's. Yeah, what? Like, oob, ube, ube, o- ube. What is that? It's like fucking this purple. Some fucking hipster shit? No, it's a, it's like Hawaiian, basically. From, from Trader Joe's? It, well, no, everything from Trader Joe's is hipster, <laughs> but uh, it was like this oob spread, right? I think it's oob or ube. I don't know. U-B-E. Okay. However the fuck you say it. And I saw this thing on Instagram. It was like, you want to level up your peanut butter jelly game? Throw that bitch in a pan like a grilled cheese. And I was like, I'm going to try it. Oh, man. Bro, I put that in there. Some butter on both sides? No. No? I, I put one squirt of Pam right there in the pan. <laughs> Just... And I just set it there. Oh my, bro. 
game changer. You know what I would love to do is um, I used, I used to love to get a pita bread, put it in the toaster, mm-hmm. slap some peanut butter on there afterwards, Fire. and then fold it taco style. See, well, like my favorite thing that I used to have that my dad used to make, um, it was like it was like, it was like a late night snack. Toast in the toaster, open that bitch up, put some peanut butter on it. Same thing, fire. Yeah. So how I don't how, like pita bread. So how was that? Um, how was that grilled peanut butter sandwich that you made? Oh, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. You have to try it. Really? You like PB and J's? That's that's, that's your no, lunch no, no, every day. No, no, I love PB, <laughs> not J's. No J's. No J. Why not? I only like it if it's a Smuckers. I like the processed shit. I know it's all processed anyways. You like Goober? Goober, the one where it's mixed. Uh-huh. Um, no. See, because uh, when like I know you're like in your in your bulk phase right now. Or you're trying to be <laughs> bulk phase. <laughs> um, uh, he's trying to get like Sam Solik over here. Having a real tough time. I by know. The way. <laughs> but um, my brother, when he was like, doing his bulk like back in high school, dude, he would eat straight out the jar. Just Goober. Goober. Bro, so much protein there, and he ate like one every two days. So he eat like half a day. Goober eating goober, huh? Goober eating goober, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Call that a uh, fucking. What do you. What Epiphany? Do you, I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> it's oh, a man. joke. If you know, you oh, know. Oh, man. There's, there's two in there. Right? Goober and uh, goober. No, I was going to say. Oh, my God. That was good. Cannibalism. <laughs> I wonder if he still has like a peanut shaped head. If you like shaped his head, do you think it's still going to look like a peanut? I don't know. I've never seen. Sh- Shape of his head before. It's pretty big. I ain't gonna lie. He a big ass head. It's a pretty big head. We'll see. I'll ask him. But hey, can you shave your head one day for me? Just so I could see. I think anything past seven three eighths is a big head. Uh, I'm right about there. You know. Yeah, I'm seven. Heard, I'm seven three eighths. So. <laughs> I heard, dude. I haven't worn a hat in like so long. Besides like the bucket hat. Uh huh. I I don't even know what size I am anymore. It's been that long. Well, your hair definitely adds shitload oh, to dude. it. Yeah. So you got your fucking hair. What happened to your mop, bro? It was that was kind of a spontaneous decision. I actually. could tell because you, know? you were going full mullet there for a minute. And I did really like my hair, uh-huh. but it, it was kind of a struggle. It it was always um, always flaring out of my hard hat. You know, it was always like getting all up in my face, and there was even times where I'd get pooky on it. And that did yeah. not feel good. When I try and you know brush it out, uh-huh. oh my god, mm-hmm. agony. Pain. Yeah, because I've been kind of like I've been wanting to cut my hair because it's it's at a point where it's too long now, and uh, but I think I'm still gonna keep it. I want to see how long I can get it until I don't like it. Anymore. Yeah, you can get it definitely a lot longer. You've had it longer than that for sure. But that was uh, the ha- the hair length that I had it at was, was the longest I've ever had my hair. It wasn't that long, I don't think. Well, it was pretty long. The, the back f- part was. The back part was long. The back part was pretty long. But I don't know, dude. I was I'm just trying, ready. I'm I was trying, just ready to get rid of it. I'm trying to think about what I can do because then I'm thinking like I can get like a a low fade, like you know, get some of this shit off, you know, just to get get rid of some of it and even trim the top a little bit because I liked how it was like a month ago. Maybe we can do another barbershop edition. Hmm. I'd be down for that. I can just shave your head. <laughs> I, I, I'm down. I'm down. Start fresh again. Start fresh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like moving to a brand new state and just Irish goodbye and everybody. See, but I want like I want you to try to give me a real ass haircut. I could do that. I could do that. Like you know that you know like that. Uh, I can't tell what he is. He's like a white guy all tatted up, and he's like, if you have time, I'd like to cut your hair. And he interviews him on the street. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you're totally that right. Dope. He is super dope. I like he that is guy. super dope. He seems super genuine and real. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the same fucking thing, but yeah, he <laughs> seems ama- he seems amazing. He seems like a real cool guy. I forgot his name. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. He gives some sick-ass haircuts. He does. And he has some real-ass conversations. He does. What's What's weird is, is that, like, recently, it's, uh, it's, it's not like Andrew Tate shit. It's, like, men's mental health shit. You know? What do you mean? I, it's just been popping up on my phone. Like, every, like, four out of ten reels is mental health now for me, like, mm-hmm. for the past, like, three days. Like... Men crying and men saying like, "Oh, this like just like men being vulnerable." I guess I don't know how to put it. And it's and that's just that goes to show that they're tapping into our cellular devices and, listen and they're to listening us. to our conversations. I know. I know. And I mean, it's I'll, nothing I'll, new. I'll, yeah, no, I was gonna bring it up, but I didn't want to. Yeah, but it's been coming up. It's nothing quite new. Quite a lot. Us, but that's the same thing with me. So on the, on the Twitter side, I'm getting these threads where it's like, "How to be a better man? How to be a uh, all this stuff?" You know, what a I'm better saying? man. 
uh, how to be like a more successful man, how to be a more powerful man, all these types of stuff. So like some Andrew Tate type shit. No, no, not necessarily. <laughs> it's it's more like they have the picture of a of a Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders. Oh, okay. That seems to be the, the epitome of of man. What is a man, right? But okay. he's he's like five seven though. Is it really? Yeah, K- Killian Murphy is like actually five seven or five eight. He looks we've so ta- tall. We've talked about this before. Yeah, he does look tall in the show, but he is actually about five seven or five eight. You know, which is nothing wrong. That's the average height of a man in uh, in the United States, I think. In your opinion, what 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 could you do better as a man? What can I do better as after a man? reading all these Twitter things? No, but the thing is, I don't read them. I don't go through them. You just pop them out. They just I'm scrolling. They're just there. I see them. There's a guy that they always send on Twitter. His name's like Ro- Ravino, Ravenio or something like that. Uh-huh. Bro, the, the shit he says, it's like, holy fuck. It's like, I, I can't even explain it. It's it's bad. There's even like a green line test that he does. If you're like not standing straight up and there's like this, you'll put a red line. It means you're, you're, you're gay. Shit like that. Like slouching? Anything. Like, they, they call it the green line test. I'll have to send it to you on Twitter one time because they send it to me all the time. Well, sounds interesting. It is, but he has like he puts out like literal books of like rules of what like a man's supposed to be and shit. It's it's crazy. Some of them are like some like some of them are okay, and then like the next hundred and twenty are like that. Why? Why? I don't know. It's hard to explain. And I forgot his name. But I mean, I'm going back to your question. What can I do better? And it's like I don't even know. What are you doing wrong? I don't even know where to start to think uh-huh. on that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. For me, I don't know. I feel like I'm not being, like, useful enough. Like, I feel like I'm not, I'm just not doing enough. In what, in what circumstance? And that I don't know. But that's like, how is I that, feel. Is it work? Is it home? Is it relationship? Like, what? Home. Home? Yeah. But I feel like it's not, like, me doing stuff at home. It's me, like, so, like, since Sunday, I started doing core at home. That's what I mean. Like, for myself, I'm not being... I'm not doing my full potential. So you're not being productive. Yeah. So, like, when I get home, like... This is... Because I'm not, like... I, I haven't lost any more weight. Uh-huh. I'm literally stuck at 283 pounds. Like, I, it, I can't go down. Plateau. I'm at a plateau. And then I... So... My workout was I'd work out and then 15 minutes I go into the steam room, right? Right. So I've now changed it this week. Uh, started last week, like on Thursday. I'd work out and then hit the stairmaster for 15 minutes, and I've been doing that now just to get some more cardio and get my heartbeat going. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's better than me just sweating off a little bit of water weight. That's temporary. I get you. I get you. So now, as of Sunday, I just started doing like little core workouts. Like, so yesterday I did 120 sit-ups and then 60 crunches. And those are separate from the gym, right? Yeah. So that's when, like, I'm home. Because when I'm home, uh, I'm usually more relaxed. I literally just sit on the couch and watch TV. And then I'm like, do I need to watch TV or can I do something first? Uh Uh-huh. And, like, I'm a big boy. So, like, doing those those sit-ups is fucking hard. So, like, legit, I'm just, like, in my room. And my dresser's, like, perfect for my feet. I put, like, a fucking towel on there so I I don't hurt them. And I just start going. Just start going as many as I can. Until I can't do it, and I just lay there on the floor, just like dying. And then when I'm ready to go, I do more. So if 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 you're if you have that mentality, which is a great mentality to have, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, should I be watching TV or could I be doing something a little bit more productive? Uh-huh. It's a great mentality to have. But what I'm thinking is, when does that stop? I know, but I keep telling myself that I, I just want to keep doing it every day. Uh huh. Because there's eventually it's going to get easier for me to do it. It's just so hard for me to do it. You know, like being so big, it, it's just like it's literally hard for me to do it. Right, so well, I just, I'm just trying to just keep going. And you're also just getting started with your like core workouts uh-huh. and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So you you've got to build up some endurance and you know get get used to it. A so little hopefully bit. I can do it for a while. Hopefully I just like keep being consistent because like the gym is like a consistent thing now. It's like okay, wake up and just go. Yeah. Because like there's days I don't want to fucking go to the gym. Like the other day I was just sitting there and I was like, yeah, I'm going back to sleep. And I sat there for like two minutes and I was like. Nope, I gotta get my ass up. I was up. like, just get the fuck up, just yeah. go. I was oh. like, just go. I was like, just stop being lazy. But the thing is, you feel so much better afterwards, right? I know, but dude, I was so tired that day. <laughs> so I bet, man. Tired. And uh, it's and I haven't been taking pre-workout or nothing. Fuck. So it's been dragging on a little bit more, huh? No, the workout's actually uh, honestly, I think that's like a placebo effect. Pre-workout, maybe I don't know. 
Okay, that, I'm going to stop you right there. I will <laughs> I tell you for sure that it is not a placebo. Because once, once I start getting going, I'm good. Oh, man, no, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, imagine when I take pre-workout again. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Take like a two or three week break off of all oh, caffeine taken, in general. Oh, dude, I don't if, think I can do that. If you do that and then go to the pre-workout again, man, I'm telling okay. you, you will be. Well, I've only been drinking black coffee. Maybe I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can just wean myself off. I'll try it. And I just had my first cup of coffee this morning in the first time in a very long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, it had me pissing all fucking day long. Not shitting. Pissing. Pissing all day long. I'd be sitting in class and it's like, Probably get to, I'll, gotta go, piss again? I'll go piss once, right? And then um, like 10, 15 minutes later, got to go again, right? Have they told you anything? No, they didn't tell me anything. But then they told me one thing once. So this is, I think, my fourth time going to piss within, uh, I want to say, maybe two hours. Uh-huh. And this, it was right before break. And so I was walk, as I was walking out the door, my instructor stopped me. He's like, oh, so you're one of those guys, huh? They don't like, huh? I'm like, what? And then he's like, one of those guys that goes to take a piss before break? And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I'm just drinking coffee. It's getting, it's getting to me. Dude, you know? you're like, bro, I've already pissed three times. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if they actually noticed that or not. But uh, I told him, I was like, dude, I don't fucking drink coffee. This is my first time drinking coffee in a while. It's getting to me. But uh, I'm glad it didn't have me shitting my guts out. Yeah. Because I... See, prefer- but then it would have been like one, one big shit. Ah... <sighs> Would it have? Mm-hmm. You think so? Think yeah, so. you're probably right. It, it probably didn't have that much in the tank to get rid of anyways. I've been, I've been pooping more consistently since drinking a black coffee, though. Jake was right. That's awesome, man. That has been true. I haven't, I, like... Have they been solid, good consistency? Uh, honestly, no. Or just... <laughs> it's like, it, like in between. <laughs> kind of like Hershey squirting a bit? No. It's, uh, it's, it's a little soft. And that was, that, that's what was deterring me from drinking coffee again, because mm-hmm. the taste of coffee is great. I love it. Uh-huh. Right? The scalding hotness, I can't. That, I don't like that much. Uh, I'm, I'm a big iced coffee guy. I tried talking to my sister about this because uh, now that she's taking me to work, I've noticed that every single day, for one, she leaves way early for work because we can leave the house by like 6.25 and still make it with 10 minutes left. She leaves at 6 on the dot to go get coffee from Starbucks. And then she was bitching that she didn't have any money for anything. And I said, dude, you spend $7 five days a week? That's thirty five dollars. That's right. That's that's a that's one dinner right there. If you want to go take yourself out to something nice, or that's thirty five dollars for gas. I said, dude, we have a coffee maker at home. Why don't you just fucking make it here? Yeah. And she's like, it's not the same. It's not ice. And I was like, put ice. No, but it's it is a little bit different though. I mean, yeah, because it's Starbucks. I understand. That shit like, hits. Oh, just fucking, just, like literally, just make your own. It's not that big of a difference. Yeah, I I get you. You know, and um, you're saving money. And it, dude, that shit builds up quick. I'll tell you and what. That's the same exact thing with energy drinks. You know what I mean? My, my, la- my last grocery haul from Costco was like three weeks ago, and I still have too much food. Wow. So like, I don't have to go to Costco again. Hey, that's a good, that's a good problem to have. Because I, I usually go every two weeks, but I like going to Costco. First world problems, baby. Got too much food. <laughs> oh, by the way, I defrosted a pesto sandwich for you because I want you to try it with the, the sweet the sweet oh, peppers oh absolutely I would so, gladly try it so we don't have to put it in the microwave we can put it right in the toaster with everything on it beautiful okay beautiful I will gladly try yeah, it I, those things are amazing I haven't I haven't got them out in a while so but yeah I don't know it's crazy because I still have six pounds of chicken uh, chicken thighs in the in the freezer and I still have three New York steaks left so it's like that's You've a lot of meals set. that's you, a lot of meals you're set for the uh, for the coming struggles yeah and I still have like seven uh, frozen meals that I made left. So, you know, like I eat like one bean and cheese burrito and then at home I eat one meal. So it's like I got quite a lot of days left before I even have to make anything. You're ready for World War yeah. Three, baby. Oh, and my dad, he made like, I'm not really the biggest fan of Hamburger Helper because he used to make it so much and I just got like done with it. It's like it's easy meal to make, you know, and he would make it when he was in a rush. And um, I don't know why he made it, bro. And I was like, dude, I want that so bad. Like burger looked, helper. Huh? Yeah, I don't think I've ever had that. It's not bad. It's just mac and cheese with ground beef. Or it's like that with uh, that Chef Boyardee. I've never had Chef Boyardee. Uh, no, don't. I've don't. never had like um, Campbell's is different, right? Yes. Yeah, I've never had a Campbell's. Nothing like I that. I hate their soup. You know, I did love their commercials. 
Yeah. You know? Is that the ones that they rolled the can and then it comes to their house? Yeah. No, those are I, cool. no, you know what? I think that might be Chef Boyardee. Where it's, it's like literally really, falling yeah, you home. Yeah, it is. I did love those commercials. Those are amazing. Yeah, but I wanted to eat it so bad. <clears throat> and I sat there. I looked at it and I went, no, I don't need it. And I went right in the fridge and ate my shit. And See, then that, my dad was like, you're sticking your diet. Good job. And I was like, <laughs> that right there. That's fucking discipline. No. That's beautiful. I don't want it. That's discipline. I don't want it. Yeah. I literally texted my girl today. I was like, sushi? Question mark? Oh my God, <laughs> dude. I've had sushi the longest time. <laughs> and she said, it does sound good, but it's so far. And I was like, oh, I know. You're right. And it's so expensive. I know. And that's and that's when I, I made a meal right there. <laughs> I made a meal. I had to. Hey, man, because think about it. Once you win that prize money, there's a lady who's right on my ass. I don't. She came out of fucking nowhere. Who is this lady? What week, does she do? Week one, she's an office lady. She just sits there. Week one, nobody fucking was even close to me. Week two comes along. I had that really bad weekend, and I had gained some weight. And I lost nine pounds of it. Uh huh. I gained ten pounds in a weekend. That's crazy. That's pretty tense. So technically, I gained one pound from the from the week before, right? She. I don't know what the fuck happened. It's, they're not doing it by how many pounds lost. They're doing it by, like, percentage of weight lost. So I think that's where it's coming from. I think that's fucked. Because she weighs less than me, obviously. Yeah. So she lost... Her percentage can go down faster. Right. She's right fucking there, bro. She's so close. Ah, that... See, is that the best way to do it? I feel like the it's best way to do it would be by pounds lost, no? Yeah. I'd be winning, though. No problem. But um, I think if they did that, because, like, they sent an email... Of like how much percentage you've lost with everyone's name on it, so I feel like they just don't want to tell people how much you weigh, basically. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But um, I only did it once, and I think I just started myself on Thursdays. No water, no nothing. You know, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but that's kind of dumb that they don't want to put people's weight out there. You're literally going into a weight loss competition. It's all about that. She's really nice, though. She calls me Skinny Mini now. Skinny Mini. I said, What's up, Skinny Mini? And then I talk shit to her, like a. Uh, our work, they have like a Microsoft Teams. It's like basically like a, like a WhatsApp, but for, for through Microsoft. I'd be talking shit to her on there all the time. Like, I was like, yeah, I gained some weight this week. We ain't winning. She's like, yes, I am. I was like, no, you're not. Even her best friend, um, she's like a UPS driver. She actually delivers to our work the packages, like little UPS oh, packages. And she told me, she's like, hey, Dylan, I heard you're, uh, I heard you're doing really good in the competition. I was like, yeah. She's like, I want her to lose. She's like, you better effing win. Like, you better fucking win and get that money from her. I was like, isn't that your best friend? She's like, exactly. That's why I want you to win. I was like, oh, my God. That's crazy. So I hope I beat the bitch's ass, bro. I hope you beat the ass, too. Yeah, so I just got to go harder. That's why I started doing the core workout because I feel like, you know, I can that'll attack the, the fat around my belly. And hopefully you'll stick with that... Uh with that same even routine even after the yeah. competition which I think you will because honestly it's not that hard it's like a, it takes me like an hour I'm not gonna lie because uh-huh. I, get, I get pretty tired but it's like an hour and then I can just like fucking play Xbox for the next however long I want to so yeah yeah and in my case I have been lacking on the gym a bit but that's just because I feel like I feel like that there's not enough time in a day for me you know what I'm saying it's because you're so tired because, I mean, recently I've been working a lot as well. You want this last little bit? So, no, it's okay. Thank you. Recently I've been working a lot as well, but I feel like that's also no excuse for me to, to say, oh, I can't go to the gym, right? So I've got work, and I've got a long drive home, lots uh-huh. of traffic, and then, um, so literally my routine is go to work, go to the gym right after work. Eat, sleep. Eat, shower, sleep. No video games. Maybe like 30 or 40 minutes of TikTok before bed. But uh, there's nothing like that. And so how so, often are you seeing your girlfriend? It, yeah, it's very, very it's few and far in between. Damn. And that's what, uh, that makes it a little bit harder too because it's like, I don't want to have that feeling of like neglect to be there uh-huh. because. But, but you also want to be like healthy. Because I also want to be on my shit too, you know what I'm saying? Why doesn't she go with you? That's oh, she also she also works different schedules. She does work different schedules, but it's also like it's not really her thing, right? She doesn't really. Uh, it'll be like a. It could be a bonding thing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I. I don't know. I've never been to the to the gym with a female. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I don't know how. Honestly, she just does what I do. 
I don't know how it would be. Yeah, she just does what I do. What do you mean? Like when we go together? Oh, your girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. She just does what you do. Yes. Yeah, so when, when I take your girl to the gym with me. No, I mean, <laughs> no. I, I, I didn't. Yeah. I, so like when when me and her go, uh, she just does what I do, and then uh, well, that's basically it. Just push each other. It's basically uh, like if me and you were working out. That's that's how it is with me and her. Really? Yeah. Huh? See, I just don't know how, like... Uh, see, I don't know how that dynamic would be with both. See, but I don't know, because I'm kind of like a piece of shit term when we're in the gym. Uh-huh. I'm like, keep going, you got, you got four more, and you know, she's like, like, uh, on the hammer strength, like, on incline, just literally, like, shaking, and I'm, like, barely helping her. I'm such a piece of shit. <laughs> but the thing <laughs> is, I mean, asshole. that's gross. I, that's you know, true, but... You know oh, I mean? man, I don't that's know what gross. it is. It just, I, I get a little bit of enjoyment out of it, and then she even, like, tells me after, like, oh, thanks, I appreciate that. Like, that was good. Yeah, no, I... Because... I, like like I was saying before, you know, you are encouraging her, you're pushing her. What I have noticed in the gym is that I haven't been able to go to like failure anymore. It's just like I just get burnt out faster. I don't know what it is. Cause I haven't been taking creatine for a while now, mm-hmm. so that could also be effect. And then maybe the pre workout for the past like week and a half. I don't know. It's been like barely just getting the reps up. You know, maybe I am too tired. You just need more fuel. I just gotta do something. You just need more fuel. <gasps> so it's like with me, I would love to go to the gym with her, but like I said, I don't know how that dynamic would be. It's not really her thing, uh-huh. and again, the schedule stuff. But it's also with sleep. I need you a need, good amount of sleep. I know. I know. And I know. not because I'm grouchy or anything like that. It's just you need but it. But because if I don't get the proper sleep, I will die. <laughs> Literally, I will die. And um, I don't know. I just feel like skipping the gym is better than dying. My opinion. <laughs> See, what I'm thinking about doing is is that, like, I, I'm doing the core, right? I've been having this urge to, like, li- literally, it sounds crazy, to, to go for a run. And I, I almost called you the other day on Tuesday if you wanted to go for a run. Just because I felt like it. I would love to go on a run. I don't even know if I can run. Hey, hey, dude. So it's not about that. It's about my knee. And guess what? It's October, baby. Open enrollment. I got my letter yesterday. <laughs> MRI time soon. Yeah. We can finally. So you remember the last time we went climbing, and or the first time we went climbing actually, and I was telling you, man, you looked a lot lighter and a lot quicker up uh-huh. there. Well, I would assume it's the same exact thing for running. Yeah, because um, I haven't like really tried running in a while. But um, Penelope likes me like chasing her around and stuff. So like t- uh, like last week around there, I like really went to chase her. You know, I started running around. And I was like, oh, that feels good. I don't feel really anything. I feel like if I just run at a comfortable pace and not make any cut, I feel like I could run without my knee fucking hurting. Well, I mean, if you're going on a jog, you're, you shouldn't be making any know, real explosive know. movements. You I know. know. And just to try it. And I just like, I feel like I just put Penelope in the stroller or something, just go for like a light little jog walk. Yeah, that'd for a be while. that'd be solid right yeah. there. It's just something to get like, something for me to do, to be a little more productive. Like we said, that's that's what I see it as. That also might be something that kind of shocks your system because it's not uh-huh. used to it. So that just might break you through that plateau. And it's better for her too. She's not on the phone. She's not watching TV so much. Uh-huh. You know, we're getting out, and. uh yeah, I just feel like it's just better. Everybody all wins. Everybody, Everybody wins. Oh, dude, she was doing sit-ups with me yesterday. That was cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I had to help her, but it was cool. Because I kept telling her, I was like, oh, stand on my feet. And then I'd high-five her every time, and then we count to 20. And then she wanted to do it, so she'd hold on to my fingers, and I'd just like, go like that. You should get her on trend. Huh? You should get her on some trend. Oh, dude. So she could be a freaking <laughs> Miss Olympia. I found... It's on my phone. I don't really... Uh, I forgot the name of it, but I guess like every social media influencer that says their natural's on it, and then even this huge social media guy who's like on, on the shit. What is it? Like Rad something? Rad Rad uh, Rad 420 or something like that? I don't know. Because... It's like a little blue bottle, <sighs> and I guess it makes something in your brain activate to where your, your test is like two times higher just by taking that without mm-hmm. any steroids it's like a natural way to do it natural way to boost your test i want oh, to get natural on. yeah see because i remember my brother did mention something to me um when he was here he was telling me that it was like rad something uh-huh. and he was saying that it's the most research type of growth hormone and um it has very very little side effects 
Yeah, I didn't look into it too much, and I forgot the name, but I have it. I have a picture of it. I was like, I, I kind of want to try it because I have seen it as well on uh, on some TikToks where it's come up, and then it's kind of those TikToks where people are like, oh, the the urge to take, you know, the urge to take this, and I was kind of thinking about it too, but I don't know. I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and just stick it out for now. Imagine, imagine me and you get on test and we just get super ripped, super fucking yoked. Yeah. Yeah. So I have noticed I'm actually like developing like uh, you can see muscle on my chest. Striations. Kind of. Nice. Yeah. So I've been noticing that. Um, yeah. Got any um, tiger stripes, baby? What the fuck's a tiger stripe? I got stress marks. Tiger stripes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Show me them tiger stripes, mommy. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You want to get some TikToks? Reddit videos? Yeah, actually. I would love to. It's getting quite warm in here. It is. It is. I hope that camera doesn't turn off. I'm breaking a sweat. I didn't turn the air on because it's like 70 degrees outside. Should we go Reddit? Let's do yours first. Reddit first? Yeah. Okay. 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 Well. I'll tell you what, bro. When I was editing, that fucking... <laughs> that, uh, that, that Reddit video you had from yesterday was so funny. The the guy with like the little legs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so funny. The, this one's kind of in line with um. With that? No, not with that. With, with the topic of a uh, testosterone. Okay. Fucking hormones. Okay. Fucking. You know. Well, you know Sam Sullivan's like twenty one years old. Up. Oh yeah, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. crazy. He's insane. But um. This is it right here, brother. Just go ahead and play. Just go ahead and press replay video whenever you're ready. Oh, not that oh, one. Oh, that's the same video. Oh, God. Did we lose it? Did I lose it? Apologies, apologies. Wrong one, wrong one. Just press that one right there. Oh, God. It's it's blurred out, bro. I'm a little skip. Oh, fuck. Oh. Dude, poor child. Did oh, you that's, a, that's a child, dude. That, that was a that was a kid. Oh my god, that was a little kid that got straddled. <laughs> dude, he's about, to, he's about to die. And did you see a piece on that horse? All horses are like that, bro. Jesus Christ, it's literally like my whole my, not like here to here, it's like my whole shoulder down, or, Shol- or shoulder bigger. to fingertips, baby. That thing was insane. Yeah, imagine that going inside you. Imagine having a piece like that. I wouldn't. You can't use it for shit. I've seen it on the hub. Yeah, they... He uses it. And I... I've even thought, like... Do they... Are they proud to have that? Oh, see, I've asked myself the same question. Do they like that Do they life? know that's like, hey, my dick is bigger than yours? No, well, they, like they for sure boost? know... They for sure know their wiener is bigger than... But... Almost they, 99% they, of every... 99% of people's. Are they self-conscious about it? But I would feel like... They just can't... They're... They wouldn't walk around comfortably, in my opinion, because okay. they don't have some type of device to roll it up, like a fire hose or nothing like that. Who are we talking about here? You know? OG Mudbone. Oh. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's not like a... It's more of like a, a way of life type type thing, you know? A way of life type thing. What do you mean? It's like to improve their way of life. Some Something to fucking tie that thing up or fucking, you know, get it fucking taken down. And how much feeling would they even have? I, I don't know. I don't have a giant cock. You know? Because what I have seen... Have you seen the video I'm talking about? I, I've seen a couple. I've seen a couple. But from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like it's that... That scared the fuck out of me. I thought it was your phone. It doesn't seem like it's that uh, functional. No. Because the, the video i seen, this guy's horse talk, literally. And it's like fatter than this, for sure. And when he's like trying to fuck the chick, he can barely even get in there. And he gets it like in this this, this far. That's yeah, it. It's yeah. What a waste. Or or when they get their knobs lobbed, right? They can't. They can't. Yeah. What a waste. What a waste. What a waste of a penis. And so it's kind of like. At that point, he just wishes he had a smaller one. He wishes. I, oh yeah. He wishes he was a normal boy. <laughs> Fucking Pinocchio in this bitch. Are we talking about the same guy? Hey man, that there's. I'm sure it's the same exact thing throughout all of them. 
it doesn't function as well as you know a normal sized penis would. I'm just trying to figure out which guy you're watching. So I can. Watch. I just told you, OG Mudbone. <laughs> oh no, I'm talking about some other guy. Literally, I, this guy. I, you you want to look him up real quick? This guy's info. What's it, what, what's the name? You guys' name? Yeah. Uh, just, just put world's biggest cock. That, that's what his name is on on, on the hub. I don't even feel anything about the videos. I just like get amazed by a girl even taking it. Let's now, see. now I'm not. Now we're oh, not. No way. Now we're no. not putting this up. No, it, it's better but be see? just on the hub. This guy's white and this dick's way bigger. Than oh, that. it is white. I've never seen a giant. <laughs> just I'm telling you, just go on the hub wiener. real quick. Just go on the hub. You know, some slight, and search up what I told you, and then look at that thing. Tell me that's. It, I told bro. It's literally shoulder to here. Okay. Shoulder to boom. Okay. Well, let's say it again. What was it? World's largest dick, Fox Mill for something. I don't know. You'll see. He always wears like a fucking beanie. Let me see. Yeah, that oh guy. Oh my dude. lord. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy right there. Yeah, and I've even I've even thought. Oh, well, that's not fake. It's not fake. Look at him. Yeah, that's him right there. That's him. That's not fake. Bro, look how, like that. What? He can't do anything. Cause that's like <laughs> that's like the first video I've seen where it's kind of like a third person view. You know what I'm saying? Cause the one where I was telling telling you about. Oh yeah, it, it, you could tell it was fake. It's from like. It seemed kind of real, but the thing is, they don't give you the whole view. So I'm uh, thinking maybe they like made some contraption. Somebody from my work, um, they said that as like a kid, they were watching stuff like that with their friends, and they all thought that their penis was supposed to be that big because they didn't know any better. And they were like, oh, and they all thought, but they didn't tell each other like, why is mine so small compared to this? And then one of them finally realized that it was a fake dick. And then they all were like, oh, okay, we're good. Because that was the only video they had because he's older. He's like 40. Uh-huh. So, like, back when he was watching it. They was it didn't... like VHS or something? Uh-huh. So they didn't know it was fake. So they would all just watch it together, which is weird. That's weird. All just a little jerk off orgy party. <laughs> little 10 year olds all jerking off together. It's fucking so Never crazy. Know what That's fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah. How did we get on that tangent? How did that even. What the fuck? Horse cock. Oh. That kid got annihilated. <laughs> You got an eye the Poor guy. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. You know, that, that dick was giant. That, that guy had a horse dick. And it was real. And it was real. That's poor, a little scary. Poor guy. And he, he, he always wears that ski mask. Mm-hmm. He just hides his, he just hides his uh, identity. Mm-hmm. I would, too, honestly. I would, too. Honestly, I'd be ashamed. I'd be ashamed. <laughs> oh, man. You want to get into my TikTok? My, yeah, my, I haven't found really any good ones. I hope this one's good enough for you. So the first one, right? Yeah. Let me see. Just let me just make sure. Yeah, the first one with the pot. Oops. Oh, man. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) <laughs> yeah what do you think about that hey dude? man I'll tell you what I think about that what were we saying last episode the dirtier the nastier <laughs> the better baby those fucking king crab legs are probably phenomenal those are coconut crabs coconut crabs I've never actually had crab legs you never had crab legs at all I had them once and they were so fucking hard to eat I've never eaten them again. I was like, you know what? This is not worth it in my life. But I know. I know if I had them, they would be phenomenal. I would love them. I feel like if I learned how to do it. You know what sounds good and what looks good is that red lobster unlimited shrimp. Coconut shrimp? All of it. Amazing. I've it, never been to red lobster. I never, oh, I've been there once like when I was like real little, like six. I don't remember it, but I keep seeing it. It's like unlimited shrimp. It all looks fucking good. There's like seven kinds you can get. And I've always seen those uh, those videos, right, where they where they snap the king crab leg. First of all, these king crab legs are literally king legs. They're huge, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? I've seen those where like they snap it, and then they're oh, the literally mukbangs? pulling it out in one piece. And it seems like a horse cock. It looks just like a horse <laughs> cock too. They dip the bitch in butter and then they're doing their damn thing, and it always looks so damn. See, so you think about it like this. You're not always gonna get a king crab because that's the most expensive. Oh yeah. You're getting these little ass crab legs. You can get, like, zero meat out of that. I remember one time, dude, I went to the 626 Night Market with, with my girl, uh-huh. and we bought a, it was a lobster tail, right? $26 for 
for a lobster tail. It, that bitch had like two little bites of meat in it. I can't even tell you how disappointed I was at that moment. Okay, think about like this. How much is like a New York steak at like Outback or something? Like uh, I want to say roughly around like twenty five to thirty dollars. Okay, I got five New York steaks for forty dollars at Costco. And if you look like the lobster tails there, I think it's like for like four lobster tails it's like twenty eight bucks or something. So you can feed your whole family for eighty dollars. Worth it, mm-hmm. or you can have multiple meals for yourself that usually cost like fifty dollars. For eighty, worth it. Totally worth it. So like, I got, I still had three New York, New York steaks left, and they're pretty good size. I'll show you. I'm gonna eat that fucking tomorrow. See, but it's some be fucking great. But sometimes you just wanna, you just Go wanna out. be fucking lazy. Have someone cook for you. Uh, I just want like a, I want like a big ass ribeye, a fucking fat old one like yeah, th- like this fucking big. Yeah, I want a fat, juicy, I want like a almost tw- raw. I want like a 22-ounce fucking ribeye. That's how big I want it. Fucking ginormous fucking thing. That, over a pound. That's gains. Th- that's what I want. Just that. No baked potato? No. I want loaded mashed potatoes. Oh. A little bacon and some cheese. Hey, man. Bro. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I'm about a bus. See, my mouth doesn't really salivate for those types of things. It typically salivates for candy, right? Yeah. It's like sour stuff, but oh, oh baby, that steak's got me. Uh, oh, actually, me and my dad had a steak up. the other day. When I posted that, I was like, "Boy, dinner, I was fired." See, that's the same thing too, man. With my dad, he's not a big steak guy. What the fuck does your dad eat? Jello? Like, what the fuck? He 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 likes my mom's cooking what's, and what's, my mom's okay, cooking. Okay, only. what's your mom's typical weekly dinner plan? Typical weekly dinner plan. I want to say it's like carne ranchera. What's that? That's pretty much like... Salsa? It's a version of carne asada mixed with a, a specific sauce and like peppers and stuff like that. Amazing. Which is served with a side of rice and beans. It's so fucking good. And um, I want to say she has like these little costillitas. There's like little short ribs. Mm-hmm. But Mexican style. Mm-hmm. Right? Again. Where's fucking your mom amazing. shopping at, dude? Um, typically shops at like... Super King, El Super, Cardenas, not Cardenas. Stater Brothers? Because I'm looking to. I want to get like some fucking good carne asada meat. Like also, good ass You want to go to Cachanillas. You want to go to Cachanillas. That's, a, that's a butcher shop in um, 4th Street, I believe it is. And it's, it's, it's a small, little dingy fucking butcher shop. Is it right there on 4th and Grove in the corner? Fourth and Grove. Uh, it's next to. I'm not exactly sure, but it's next to this nightclub, like this okay. old wooden brown nightclub. Okay. It's amazing. They've been going there for years too. Can you go there with me? I'm not very uh, confident in my Spanish on how to like order that. Dos libras estos. Yeah, there you go. Bam. Estos. Bam. <laughs> estos. I actually. Uh, I've been. Uh, been looking at like so many birria videos. I'm just like, okay, which one can I make? Because, like... You can make them all, brother. No, you but, can make no, them no. all. I, you, some of the guys use, like, fucking short rib and shit. It's like, bro, I'm not going to spend all this extra money for that. Like, where's the one that has a, just a chuck roast and just give me the fucking ingredients? Like, why is everyone going to be so extra? But you will spend the money for the quality taste. You will do it. Yeah, I'll get a good chuck roast or something. I don't know. Bam. But it's just like, I feel like I can make it and it looks so good. I'm sure you can make it, dude. Like from so based off of what I've seen is you just get a chuck roast, you cut it into big chunks, you brown it or braise it on all sides, and you take the meat out. That's when you put all your peppers in, get those going, and then you blend it all, and then you put everything back together in the pot. Let that shit go low and slow for hours, and then when you take it out, it just falls apart and you just eat it. Honestly, I don't even know. I yeah, have, no idea. I have no so idea. I have no idea. My mouth is watering right now. But my dad does love some fucking good birria. He does. I'll tell you that much. And uh, Chile Rellenos is on the weekly thing too. Oh, dude, I have to. You have to bring me some of your mom's. He fucks with those, and and those are my favorite thing that my mom makes. Okay, so my my offer's still on the table. Mm-hmm. I will pay for everything if she if she makes me some. <laughs> I'll buy it all. I just want to try it. Yeah, the the Chile Rellenos. That's one thing that I've been uh, I've been on the hunt. So there have been a bunch of Mexican restaurants that I've tried the Chile Rellenos at. 
to see if it's up to par with the same standards I have. I haven't found it. For my mom's. And obviously, it's kind of like one of those things. There's nothing like your mother's cooking, uh-huh. right? But that's like some OG cooking right there. That's like some OG cooking right there. Uh, remember I told you this place right here? That's the best children I've ever had. So maybe I'll try there someday. What place? It's literally right there by the Legends. Rancho oh, okay. Los Magallas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's the favorite one I've ever had. What? I said... Yeah, I, I'll look into it. I'll look into it for sure. It's it's it, that's my favorite one, but I don't go there ever. I haven't been there in years, so maybe it's degressed. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a word? I'll tell you what, misspelled. I've been spelling it wrong for. <laughs> I've been misspelling misspelled my whole life. How do you spell that? See, misspelling it looks normal, right? But misspelled it just looks so off to me. Okay, but I want to preface that with. You have a lot of grammatical errors. And obviously, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect either. No, I have a lot. Because I make a lot of mistakes as well. But you have a lot of grammatical errors. It's because I'm just typing too fast and I don't care to change it. Yeah, no, I, I get you. That's I, all it I, is. I understand. But what I mean is, it's it's not that me texting, okay? That's different. I'm, I'm going to have errors no matter what. Yeah. That's, it's, that's, that's me, okay? Misspelled. I thought there was a space in between it the whole time. Really? <laughs> Forever. Okay. So I've been spelling misspelled all my life. And then someone, like, put it on Twitter, and I was going to correct them as a joke. And I was like, you know what? Before I look like a fucking dumbass, let me go look it up. And I was like, no way. It just looks so stupid to me. I don't know. It's like, y- you thought your whole life it was misspelled. No, misspelled. Like, that's a fucking teacher or something. That's your substitute M-I-S-S teacher. M-I-S-S space spelled. Right. But the whole time it's just M I S S P E L E D or two L's, right? I've been spelling wrong my whole life. Forever. No one's ever corrected me. Hey, but I'll tell you what. You finally figured it out. Yeah, I finally did. Better late than never, baby. You want to know what else I finally figured out? What? That I was ready to go. You ready? I'm fucking starving. Okay. Uh, you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BigDo2Gs underscore between on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram at Daddy's Under Pod and on YouTube as well. And then uh, and TikTok. And then, Jose, you put yourself. I thought it would be a lot more refreshing with this uh, with this new cut. A lot more, you know, air uh, exposure. But anyways. Oh, it's fucking we're in a fucking enclosed room. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Sick Puppy with two E's. Make sure to email us, Daddy's Under Pod at gmail.com. Tweet it. Well, it's X now, but Twitter. X us. Daddy's Dungeon P. And uh, it's been a pleasure being yeah. here with you again today. I'm sorry that I made you search porn today, by the way. That was a little weird. I've never done that before. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It just amazes me. It's literally amazing. It's so weird. I, you made me break my streak, but it's all right. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh, no. my God. <laughs> no. Okay. Love you guys. Peace.